Welcome to ETV Bharat. This is News Time. The Enforcement Directorate will question Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren on Wednesday in Rachi in a money laundering case probe linked to an alleged land scam. Soren chaired a meeting with Alliance MLAs in Rachi on Tuesday. Jharkhand Mukti Mocha spokesperson Supriyo Bhattacharya said the Jharkhand governor is speaking the BJP language. He lashed out at the BJP for announcing a missing person reward on Hemant Soren. Speculations are that Jharkhand Chief Minister Hemant Soren's wife Kalpana Soren would take over his post if the latter was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi has reacted to Nitish Kumar's recent vote face. Gandhi said Nitish took the decision under pressure but asserted that the alliance in the state won't need him now. Senior IAS officer Radha Raturi is likely to be appointed as the first woman chief secretary of Uttarakhand upon the retirement of the incumbent chief secretary SS Sandhu. Congress and AAP have alleged vote tampering after the BJP candidate was declared the winner in the high stakes Chandigarh mural polls. India ranked 93 out of 180 countries on the Corruption Perceptions Index for 2023 with its overall score remaining largely unchanged. 14 opposition MPs who were suspended during the last session and their case referred to privilege committees will return to attend Parliament's budget session. Union Minister Prahlad Joshi said the chairs in the two houses have agreed to the government's request. Former Pak Prime Minister Imran Khan and former Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi were on Tuesday sentenced to 10 years each in prison in the Cypher case. In light of international master Divya Deshmukh's recent allegations of being subjected to sexist behaviour from spectators at the Tata Steel Masters in the Netherlands, Polish Grandmaster Susan Polger reacted to the issue revealing that she faced misogyny throughout her career. Log in to etvbharat.com for the latest updates.